your girl Chris Kenny back again with another video. As you can tell from the title below, I'm here to react to YG Scared Money featuring J. Cole and Moneybag Yo. Now, when you think of YG, Moneybag, and J. Cole, when you think of YG, you don't think he's going to have a song with J. Cole. Period. Like, I don't see that. But J. Cole had did an interview where, or you don't think of J. Cole on a song with Moneybag and YG. Like, I can see YG and Moneybag doing a record together, but J. Cole, YG, and Moneybag, that's some spices from the South, some spices from the West. Cole got a New York flavor, so we gonna give him a little, a little chili pepper of New York. Like, it just gives different flavors, even though he's from North Carolina, like, you know. Cole gives New York swag. So it's just like you wouldn't expect it. And then J. Cole being super lyrical. And then Moneybag is a good artist. I love Moneybag songs, but he's not a lyrical artist. YG's not a lyrical artist. Um, so you just don't expect them to be on a record together. So I don't know. But from the clips that I've seen online, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is going to be some heat. Um, I'm not going to speculate too much. I really just kind of want to get into the record because it has 1.7 million views and it's only been out for a day and it's trending number four. So I'm assuming it's heat unless y'all just gassing it or y'all checking it out to see the same thing I'm seeing. Like how would they sound on a record together? Is Cole going to dumb it down? Is he going to still be lyrical? But like, I don't know. What like it's Cole being on here? That's the part that is confusing to me. I can see money back in YG, but Cole, that's a big fucking thing, and that also means that YG and money back have to step to the occasion because you're on a record with Cole. Like this is Jay fucking Cole. This isn't a little thing. It's a big one. So yeah, let's get right into this record, shall we? This beat hard. <laughs> Like, hold on, because why is the beat already smacking two seconds in? Hold on. One thing about a YG beat, he's going to have fire beats. YG keep fire beats on him, okay? Can y'all see me? If you naked on the gram and you pop up with a nigga and he's expecting you to be the same... The same shit you giving off on the gram, you can't be mad. So when you bitches act like hoes on the gram, don't be mad if a nigga approaches you like this. Like, you can't, that's false advertisement. You see, my gram is pretty wholesome. My, my gram is actually about business. Like, most of that shit's about media stuff. I don't be playing none of that shit. YG flow goes with his beats every single time. Like, YG really is just always gonna flow to the point where it doesn't matter what the fuck he's saying, even though he be saying real shit. Like, he's not a mumble rapper at all. You could understand YG clearly. But, like, his flow is so good that it's just like, bro, I'm rocking with it already. Like, you got a little bounce every time. Like, why he do? He really got his own shoes? I did not know that. Have a bitch buy me bitch come be lucky. <laughs> That's really a flex. Not gonna hold you. Girl, did he just say what I think he just said? Bitch, yeah. I love YG videos like he, he pays attention to the little stuff that is like funny but it's just also just I don't know his aesthetic of his videos YG produces great music videos and beats and songs like for sure I will never try YG and I don't recommend that anybody else does like YG is really gangster like <laughs> he don't he don't gotta say too much. I just seen this nigga move in a few different rooms and I was like, I believe everything he's saying. Like, I believe him. I believe him. Facts. Scare money don't make no money. Cole, now this is what I'm trying to figure out. I gotta hear how this sounds on here. I gotta hear, I gotta just see if all three of these artists could blend well on a record. 
I'm so lit, sports center, gotta post my clips. We cannot ignore the fact that Cole dropped the album, went overseas, played basketball, and Sports Center was really posting this man like he was a basketball player. He wasn't that good. Like he really wasn't that good. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Cold World isn't even J. Cole is your name. But okay, anyways, um he's dumbing it down. And that's all I have to say. He's definitely dumbing it down. Like it's not super lyrical, but I don't need I don't need Cole to be super lyrical all the time. Like, it's okay to have records like this where you're not super lyrical and it's just like a fun vibe. And I think that's what he's giving us. Because Cole would never say, I, I, I was going to walk up crates, but I decided to stack cake. That's too simple for Cole. Like, that's just too simple for Cole. But okay. Does Cole have his own plane? Oh, shit. Still got the cold flow though, like that last bar, scroll out and throw it out. And, uh, 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 it's my first time listening to it. I don't know the lyrics, but y'all heard the flow. Like same, that's definitely a cold flow, but he definitely dumbed this down. Like not lyrical at all. Simple. Right pussy, make room, stay tuned. And I can't be mad at Cole for not being super lyrical on every fucking record because that's the same reason why we love Drake, why we love Kendrick. They have had songs where it's more like for the fans or for the slower audience and it's not super lyrical. Actually, Kendrick, I'm trying to think of Kendrick's least lyrical record and I can't think of one right now. But I know he has one out there for sure. He definitely has one out there. I am a Santa. Who's probably gonna sin again? Lord forgive me, hey, Lord forgive me. Things I don't understand. Sometimes I need to be alone. But actually, when I think about that, even though, all right, we're gonna leave Kendrick out of this. But that's the same reason why we love um, Drake. He's not super lyrical all the fucking time. He could give us the songs that's gonna be radio records that's simple, like Left Foot Up. Right foot slide. So I'm not mad at Cole for stepping into that lane of just kind of like dumbing down his verse and just giving us a fun record. It's okay to give us a fun record sometimes. We don't need super lyrical all the time. Like nobody wants to sit and listen to every bar and be like t checking off like, okay, he used this word in this way. Like it's okay. And I like it. I like it. Bye. This is a money bag beat. I can hear money back on this beat, clearly. Like, this shit sound hard. If you don't know Papa Do's, you're not from the South. Papa Do's smack. Pussy, he balling on you fucking guns. Hard. I'm not mad at it at all. Okay, YG, you got another fucking hit. This shit's gonna slide. I can see this playing in the club. I can see this playing on the radio. This is just a good record. Like, I don't know how the fuck you managed to get a Cole verse, but you got it, and Cole, Cole did good by you. Like, Cole gave you a good record. And then Moneybag, Moneybag 8. Like, his flow was good on this record as well. But YG, you were the star. <laughs> like, you were definitely the star of the record. I love Cole, but I don't know. Maybe I have to double back to Cole's verse or maybe it's just like I know Cole to be in this one box and rap this one way that the fact that he didn't rap that one way is just not resonating with me. But whatever. It was good. Like 10. Uh, I would rate this song a. I would rate this song like an 8. I would rate it like an 8 for sure. For sure. 8.5. Cause all three of them are great artists. YG's beats never missed. The production was great. The video was good. I'll give it an 8.5 for sure. For sure. Alright, comment below. Tell me your thoughts on this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your girl, Chris Kanique.